guys and welcome to the review on the Chanty Mid 1. I got the box of the Mid right here with me. Um, this will be, um, I can say that uh, this will be the part 1 of the review as this is a um, device with a lot of features and when I mean a lot, I really mean a lot of features. Um, I can cover them all on one video. Uh, I did the preview like uh, one week and a half ago or two weeks, I don't know, I can't remember. Um, I did a small preview after spending three days testing the, the software. Uh, I did a small preview just to show you the device, uh, to give you a quick tour on the software. Uh, now I'm uh, I will uh, tell you what I think about this device, my, my thoughts on this device. I will show you a bit more um, details, the, the mid itself, uh, I'll show you also uh, how can you work with the device, how can you access the menus, how can you read the, the info that the device will give you, basically atomizer resistance, battery life, etc. Um, and then uh, I will tell you uh, what I think of the cartomizer of the, the mid, because the kit brings a cartomizer, it's a kit. Um, I will also tell you what I think about the kit itself, but I will save the software uh, part to another video. To basically, when I, when I receive the final version of the product of the mid, uh, I will record another video uh, showing you the final uh, version of the, the mid and also um, giving you another tour on the software, showing you my new profiles, etc. Basically, I'll just pick uh, some of my favorite profiles, uh, I will show you them too, uh, I will show you how to create the profiles, how to work uh, in depth uh, video and how to work with the software itself, um, I don't know, I'll think about something else for the part 2 of the video. This is the part 1 and basically I'll just show you the basic of the device. So, uh, here we have the Janty Mid 1 series uh, box. This small box brings the, uh, the kit itself, basically the battery and the uh, cartomizer. Um, it basically just comes like this inside the, um, the little box. It also brings the cartomizer and the USB cable, uh, the cable um, that you'll, you basically will use to program the, um, the device itself. Um, it's the main thing on the, the mid, it's basically to connect this uh, little device to the computer and program it, uh, pick up your own vaping profile, uh, play with it, uh, basically you can do anything um, with the software itself. So this is the small box where the, um, the battery, the cartomizer and the USB cable, I think I don't have mine here, I think mine is still on the computer, yes, uh, it's a normal uh, USB to um, mini USB or micro USB, I don't know what's the, um, this type of, of uh, entrance, for, uh, but basically you get it. I'll just screw the cartomizer back in, close the box, you'll also get the batteries, those are uh, common uh, 16340 uh, batteries, um, they will come inside this little thing, I'll just basically like this, everything packed up, you get uh, all the information um, about safety and everything on the, um, this little uh, manual. Um, those are um, some quite good batteries, they are, um, at least um, I've been using only the, these batteries on the, the mid, uh, two of these, um, they are 550 uh, MAs, um, basically uh, at 4 volts I'm having almost a full day using the, the mid, uh, that's really really good, basically when I get home I just um, take the batteries out, place these the, the other two to charge and keep on vaping. Um, also you'll get this charger here, it's still inside the package, as you can see I haven't uh, opened it yet, I'm using my own um, charger, I have no 
I have no problems at all. I'll just remove the plastic and just to show you the charger also a small box so you can keep your battery safe basically um, it seems a really nice uh, charger really nice uh, quality of construction um, basically uh, that's it uh, about the kit that's basically it um, the device itself the battery itself uh, the mod uh, per se uh, with two, that takes two batteries cartomizer charger and the USB cable um, that's basically what you'll get on the kit I don't know uh, I've been talking uh, with Genty about this on the, the final uh, release kit they will probably they are trying to have them ready uh, if not it will be available on the store uh, at a very low price that's the info I got uh, but they will try to, to launch uh, together with the kit this small um, cone uh, that you will place in here basically to hide the thread if you want to use a carto tank, uh, Vivinova, uh, etc. If you want to use one of those um, tanks that are actually uh, right now on the market, you'll have to, you don't have to, but it will be a lot pretty to have the mod with that small cone uh, around here. It's not a cone because it's just a small piece basically that will uh, place in on top of this and hide the thread so that you can screw your Vivinova, your Vape Only PCC, whatever, um, and have the thread. Uh, ident basically um, it's a small feature that um, will improve the looks on the mid uh, basically that's it um, I think I haven't forgotten anything about the final uh, kit what will the, the final kit will bring the software you basically just log on midseries.com and uh, register yourself register your product and you'll be able to download it right there um, all the manuals, uh, the software manuals, the mid uh, the device itself manual, uh, you can uh, download it on the, the mid series website. Uh, and I really recommend you to do that. Um, after this, I will just give you a quick tour on um, the joystick and how to uh, assess the menus and all of that. But um, it's probably better if you just download the manuals, read everything on the manuals, it will help you a lot. Uh, I know that on video, some people prefer to watch the video, but believe me that uh, you'll get to know the mid uh, a little better if you just read the entire manual and see everything about the device and the software. So, about the kit, I think that's all. I'll just uh, move along and uh, show you a little bit how to play with the joystick on the mid uh, and then I'll show you how it performs. So right now I have the mid right here with my own profile. It's a 4 volts profile. I've picked the green LED for this profile. Um, you can do a lot of things just with the, the joystick. For example, if you want to access the main menu basically where you can uh, pick another stuff, basically you just press three times to the left. I think I, I misclicked. No, I did. Three times it will start blinking. Basically, it will stay like this for 30 seconds. I think uh, if you don't choose anything else, it will just go base, uh, basically to the to the normal mode where you can just activate it. If you misclick three times and want to go back, you just click another three, and it's ready to use again. So on the menu, three times it will blink. Okay, on the menu basically you can pick the vaping profile amplitude, you can uh, see the device temperature, you can see the atomizer resistant, battery life, um, this is basically on this menu, you can see all of those things. Um, okay, uh, if this was a device with uh, OLED screen or a screen or anything, you could just read it up, no. On this device for example, I'll just scroll the atomizer and I'll show you the atomizer resistance. As you can see, it now blinked uh, red and went back to uh, the normal mode, operation mode. Uh, basically, if you click, it will activate. It passed 30 seconds. So, now I want to check the atomizer resistance. I'll press, uh, I'll push the joystick one time to the left. And it will start showing me the atomizer resistance. Basically, Blinked 
two times and now four times if I'm not mistaken let me count them yes it uh, tells me that the atomizer has 2.4 ohms I know that um, at the start this can be a little trickier um, to, to understand uh, how to assess the menus uh, if the joystick is for the left what will it do if it's for the right uh, etc basically yes it will be a, a bit trickier at the start and most of the people will look at this as a VV uh, device okay it's a VV device it has no screen uh, it's VV slash VW uh, it has no screen how can I do this how can I do that um, Basically, you have to look at this as a device that you program it is yourself. You create your own vaping profile. If you have an atomizer that leads, uh, that needs a little bit more of uh, heat at the start, like if it needs like five volts at the start to to heat up the coil, and then you you like to vape at four volts, for example, uh, you can do it on the on the profile. You can create a profile like that. You can create a profile that will start at six, uh, six volts, for example, uh, for one two seconds. Uh, that way, it will heat up the the coil. Then it goes uh, down to 4 volts, 4.2 volts, and keep it like uh, like that for the rest of the profile. Um, that's a good thing. Uh, many setups out there, uh, Genesis type, um, rebuild uh, rebuildables. Uh, basically, uh, those type of atomizers will need uh, that. Uh, will need some extra heat on the start, uh, and then uh, a stabilized uh, voltage. Uh, you can look at this device like a device that you create your vaping profile. You can't look at this as a, a common VV device or a VW device where you just have a screen, you enter the menu, configure it yourself on the go. Um, you can't. If you look at, if you look at this um, with that in your mind, um, you'll probably not like it. That's the, the main thing because if you want a screen, you'll probably go f after another device. If you device, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> if you want this, um, if you want the device to be um, made with your own profiles, with your it, okay, it will take um, a bit of practice at the beginning uh, since this is a, a bit trickier to. Um, to know uh, what the joystick does basically, um, to know what profile is programmed to what place, uh, etc. Uh, that will be trickier. Uh, but after you understand everything, after you memorize uh, uh, where are the profiles, what are the profiles you have on one side, on the other side, uh, it will be easier to, to understand this. As for the atom to, for checking the atomizer resistance and battery life and all of that. Um, do you really need to check it every day during the day? Um, well, I don't really think I'm. I have uh, other mods, other VV mods, um, and I really don't check uh, every time I place an atomizer on top of it or the atomizer I'm using. I, I'm not spending the whole day checking the, the resistance. Um, of course, uh, sometimes it will be handy to have, but you have it. You just uh, need to know how to read the uh, the device itself, giving you the the info. Um, as for battery life, okay, okay, that's something that um, you really want to, to keep track of. Uh, I've heard that on next uh, update on the device, there will be a feature that when the battery reach 35%, I think, the LED will start blinking to, um, to tell you that the battery, the battery life is low. Uh, it will be on 35%, so you'll still have um, some time to, to replace the batteries. Uh, more. Um, we have a lot of things, uh, a lot more things on this on the software. This uh, first video on the Gentimid will be basically about the device itself, uh, not so deep info on the joystick, just a quick uh, basic guide on the joystick. Uh, I'll show you also how it works, how it performs with the cartomizer that the mid comes with. Um, and on the next uh, video, that will be probably uh, launched uh, only when I receive the final version of the mid. Um, when I receive the final version of the mid, I will give you uh, a more quick look uh, on the software and on the joystick, uh, uh, and also, of course, on the final look of the device. Uh, 
um, to shut down the device is really simple just press five times to the left you can see the LED now fading off and it's off if you want to turn it on just press another five times to the left and it's on changing profiles three times to the right it will start blinking the amount of blinks indicates me the number of the profile I'm on it's blinking two times I know it's on the profile too if I press one time to the to the right it blinks one time I know I'm, pro I'm on profile one if I press one time to the left it will blink three times it's profile three and another time to the left it will be blink uh, four times it's profile four uh, basically what I did um, I've chosen the right side for volts and the left side for watts um, this was a method that I found out uh, so I could remember where I had my profiles um, it's really really simple I just want this profile it's four volts ones it's green LED as you can see you can also assign any color you want to the profile you want it's really really good you can also change uh, the vaping uh, style. Vaping style you have uh, real time that's basically this is a ray stick if you click inside it will stay on the, the voltage that you or wattage that you have the profile if you press up it will start increasing the voltage or the wattage if you press down it will start decreasing basically imagine, imagine that I am on the 4 volts profile I press up, it starts on 4 and starts climbing up till uh, the voltage I have um, fixed on the, the device. I can uh, basically fix uh, maximum voltage on the device and it will start going up till that voltage. You can also um, uh, how can I say it? You can um, set the, the amount of time that will take to increase the voltage or decrease. That's really really good. Um, also um, you can change the voltage on the go. Um, I think this is um, one of the la latest features on the the, um, the mid. Uh, you can increase and decrease uh, your entire profile. Imagine that uh, this profile I have 4 volts and I want to increase to 4.1 or 4.2. I can do it uh, also with the joystick. Um, I, I think I don't recall uh, reading this on the first manual, uh, but I think that's. Uh, um, how can I say this? That's something that they have added to the uh, to the software, to the firmware of the mid, uh, really recently. Um, so I will now just uh, show you how this uh, little thing performs. Give you my opinion on the at least on the cartomizer and some of my opinion on the mid. Uh, and I'll leave the software part a video uh, covering all the software part, basically programming, etc. Uh, to the next video. I already have the mid with me right here with the cartomizer that the kit brings. Um, I must say this is really fantastic cartomizer. Um, I've been using this cartomizer for two weeks, uh, almost non-stop um, on work. Basically, that's where I spend most of my time and where uh, I vape uh, more. Um, I've been using only this cartomizer, and um, since it's nearly uh, on death, uh, I just uh, thought I could um, use these last um, refills for the, the review. So, let's take a drag um, and I'll give you some more info on the cartomizer. I'm uh, right now, I'm using my Green profile is the 4 volts one. If you saw my uh, my preview, it's the 4 volts one. Let's see how it goes. It's a 2.4 uh, ohms atomizer, uh, 4 volts. I'm using Air i4. Let's see how it performs. As you can see, as for the vapor production, really clouds of clouds of vapor um, with this uh, little cartomizer. As for the flavor, I'm getting a really fantastic flavor. I really don't remember the last time I used uh, um, 
the cartomizer um, with such a great performance. Uh, I must say that I'm really, really impressed with the performance on these cartomizers. I know that most of the people, um, most, I don't know if it's most, because there's some good cartomizers out there, but most of the people um, don't like cartomizers. Um, there's good, there's bad cartomizers. This one is just great. I'm really, um, I'm just sad because the kit only brings one. Uh, I think it should bring like three or four or five, I don't know, but those, these cartomizers are really, really good. Huge amount of paper. A really uh, nice throat heat. I'm using a 14 milligrams nicotine liquid, and I'm getting a throat heat like from 18 milligrams. Um, four volts, 2.4 ohms uh, cartomizer. Um, fantastic temperature, vapor temperature. This is. Um, Basically, this is what I look for on the uh, atomizer or in a cartomizer or a tank or anything. Uh, I look for a performance like these cartomizers. Um, it has a really good taste. It has um, a really nice, and you know, not nice, a really huge amount of vapor production and a really nice temperature. Really, really good. I'll now talk a little more about the uh, meat itself and give you my opinion. Okay, now about the meat itself. Um, first off, first time I received uh, the meat, uh, first time I did was install the software in the computer, connect it to the computer um, and start messing uh, up with the software itself. At first, when without even downloading the manuals, uh, I was just clueless about the, the, the meat itself um, because, um, yes, I'm used to, to VVs and VWs, but they usually come with a screen. This one we don't have a screen, we have a LED, as you can see, we have a LED right here um, that uh, you can configure with uh, any color, uh, the color you want, if you want pink, if you want blue, if you want white, grey, black, anything, you can uh, just um, get the color you want into the, the LED itself uh, and it will correspond to um, the profile you have, the, the menu you are at or the, um, the vaping style switch, the vaping programming, the, the anything basically, you can configure um, the color you want to uh, most of the things on the, the, the device. Um, so basically when I received it I was really clueless on the, on the mute. Um, I just connected it to the computer, registered myself on midseries.com, um, uh, registered the, the, the device itself to my account and I started messing around with the, the software and I was clueless about the software. So what, what did I do? Uh, I just downloaded the manual, the device and the software manual and read the entire manual. Uh, after reading the entire ma manual, I started messing around with profiles, I started creating my own profiles, um, I started messing around with the device itself, um, assessing the menus, uh, checking the atomizer resistance, battery life, uh, switching profiles, anything. Basically, I could do just anything with a profile just by reading the manuals. Uh, at first, it's a bit tricky to remember everything. Okay, the left is for this, the right is for that, the up is for... Yes, it's a bit tricky, but with time you'll get to it, you'll... Um, you'll just remember. Uh, it will basically be something automatic that if you want to switch profiles just press three times to the right, uh, if you want to shut down you press five times to the left, if you want to switch vaping uh, style um, you just press five times to the right. Basically it will just uh, be uh, really automatic once you read the manual and uh, memorize everything. Um, of course that you can tell me yes, but with the screen it will be better. It will be better with a screen, but as Shanti says, um, this was not meant to be uh, another VV uh, with a screen or something like that. Um, this is meant to be a device uh, where you can and you will create your own vaping profiles 
uh, based on the on your favorite uh, atomizers or keratomizers or Genesis or whatever you use, um, you'll create your own vaping profiles for that and we'll store the profiles on the device. Basically, um, you just connect this to the computer, uh, you are at home, um, you connect this to the computer, you know that during the day, you'll, you, at least myself, um, I just use one or two uh, types of uh, atomi atomizers or cartomizers during the day and I know that my profiles, the profiles that I will have on the mid will be based and will be uh, to work with uh, those, uh, those systems. So basically I have four profiles, two uh, volt profiles and two uh, watts profiles. I just um, save them uh, as uh, right is volts, left is watts. And between that I can really uh, remember uh, what, what profiles I have and what profiles I prefer to use. Um, so basically this is the, the thing about the screen. Oh, there's no screen, that's a VV and there is no screen. No, this is a a device. Uh, if you look at this as a device, as a VV device, yes, you'll be a bit disappointed because there's no screen. But if you look at this as a device that uh, you can create your own vaping profiles, um, basically uh, your profiles that will um, be good for X or Y atomizer or cartomizer or anything, then you'll be good. Um, you don't really need to, to have a screen to check the atomizer resistance during the day, that's true. Um, about the, the battery uh, life, uh, I think that on next firmware there will be a update that um, and when the battery reaches 35 it will start blinking to, inform, to let you know that the battery is almost low. Um, and I think that in the future there will be a lot more uh, things that, devi that this device will do uh, that will help the vapors uh, having information we even without a screen. Um, I'll just take a drag after some, so much talk. I was needing this one. <sighs> okay, continuing. Um, so basically that's it. Uh, you can't look at, uh, at the mid as another VV or VW device. You have to look at the, v the, the mid as a, a device that um, will perform uh, uh, the way you want, basically. Uh, you can create any type of profile, as I've told before, um, to suit you the best on the atomizer or cartomizer or genesis or whatever you are using on the mid. Um, I think for now uh, this is all, uh, I've given you my opinion, I've showed you the device, I've given you a quick tour on the joystick, uh, the menus, etc. Um, I gave you my opinion on this cartomizer, this cartomizer is just, just brilliant, just fantastic, they have a nice, uh, has a nice performance. Um, and again, uh, really, if you uh, buy one of these, uh, you have to download the manuals, device and software manuals, read the entire manual, uh, understand how the device works, how you create profiles, um, it will help you a lot. Um, once again, uh, thanks, thank you for watching, I'm sorry if my English isn't that good, that's not my main language, um, I will come back uh, later, um, one, two, three weeks, I don't know, uh, with the final version of the mid, to show you the final version of the mid and to show you again the software of the mid. I really hope you enjoy you enjoyed it. <laughs> thank you, Janty. Thank you, everyone. See you next time.